Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another Stanley Cup Playoffs of the Conference Finals. This time, we're in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Florida Panthers have won the last game in Game 2 against New York Rangers, and now their series is tied. Well, <laughs> it's a tough matchup in between those two, and New York Rangers are deciding to do this thing again. Will they get another goal and go with a win? Or will Florida take it over? It's tough one, just like the Tampa Bay Bolts, as they already have gotten a uh, win here at, uh, against the uh, Rangers at Amali Arena. Not to be sure how well they do, but it's very tough to be honest about all the games. It's not really that. It's not really like a tough game that played, but it's very tough one to try to keep this in bounds. And so far, I will be taking things over, so I will be stepping in to the Garden for the third game. And then, after the third game is concluded, we will be heading to Game 4, where we stay here for the next matchup, in between the Rangers and the Pampers. And then, we will head you back to Western Conference Finals of Abs and Flames at Scotty Bank Saddledome. Now, their series, on the other hand, has got 2-1 lead for Colorado. Now the Flames are on the board in the series and looking for a, looking for a stop here to tie the series up with a 2-2 score. It can be a tough one to try to pick the deck up. And let's get started at the Garden to, to have a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of Eastern Conference Finals. Enjoy the game. Ah, a great look here at the garden as the fans are all packed up. Hi everybody, Son of Beast here along with Lightbolt and Test Tube Fist is at NHL on EA Sports. It's time to hit the puck drop and we are about to start game three at the garden. Gonna be a fun matchup out there, we're gonna love that one. And the puck is already about to take a dive drop, we are underway. The matchup is currently as follows, as we have Bob Rowski here at the at the goalie for the Florida Panthers, and the other hand is Igor Shostokin. Igor Shostokin, one of the bestest players here in the New York Rangers. After uh, Hendrik Lundqvist's retirement, he now wants Shostokin to get onto the game. So far, and however he has played here before, it's helping to make the uh, tricky plays here to go their ability to go swing side to side. I like seeing the players have how well they played here before. It's much needed. They have it all down here like they never did before. We'll see how they can do here. Most most cases, it's a tough one to try to like keep those eyes and players. They want some a lot of a lot of contacts here. They do always. They really do. <laughs> Here's the batter drag. Shot went wide. It's three bounded by Uyghur. Marchman will take it out the other way with the Florida zone. He went down hard. Rangers pick it back the other way. That's good, bro. As Bennett and it takes the puck away. Florida regroups back to the near wall of the Florida zone. Here's Bennett now in the New York zone. He finds open man, and it's just Sturkin with a save. Great stoppage of that one. He really likes to try to keep it all out when he got to. Both plays this period turn to be a tie and low, and all along with me and Test Tube, the death score, the score has been even up. Uyghur, and shot went wide. Close call on the game. It is tough. Really too much to try to think about it. Benarin back the other way. He goes over to Strong, scuff save by Bobrovsky. That will hold the puck here with only 16-19 as it will get ready for the faceoff. Both teams are set right now in the faceoff zone. And with his advantage ad over to Truba with the win. Now here's Herberdu. Duclair back to Herberdu. Up to Bennett. Bennett shot blocked up by Miller. Back hit shot stopped by Shusukin. And now this one will hold the puck now as they get a whistle here, ready for face off attack. Tough one to be a last out there. You don't want to think about it too much. Both players are set right for the face off. 
Kerbidu wins the faceoff. The helmet went flying badly, and he asked if they get the replacement for his helmet. It's already broken up out there. Flying things already. They're trying to get a lot of expensive uh, helmets to try to repair it. Hito back the other way. That's the Gauthier. Gauthier's shot is deflected again. Stopped by Barkrovsky. Duclair in the own end. Hito with the takeaway. Two on one. Broken up. Duclair against Truba. Goes around him, and it's Miller taking it over with a pad save on Sisterkin. Hito back the other way. Takes a shot, it's blocked again. Weaver has his puck recover as this one goes back the other way for Florida zone. Over to right over again to Lundell. The Panthers regain their group on offense. Shoots one, it's stopped by Sisterkin. Only 13.45 remaining, it's no score. Teams are ready to make their face up in the center gliding zone. The score is still even. Battling along for the loose puck. Regroup is Jones. Scooped up along the board here over to Zabanajad. Back to Lafreniere. Lafreniere went down hard with a big kick to start their run on the third game. It's easy to clear that the Panthers are ready to face their attack. They are predators. They can definitely try to take them down. Broken up. It's Tippett with the puck. Tippett tries again. Shoots it saved by Shostokin. Slider back to Lafreniere. Now back to Ranger zone to Florida zone. Shoots the one, it's deflected off on the player of Uyghur. Uyghur went down, heavy hit, and they're gonna go for it. Fighting is not a good option. Kreider was like kept pulling the heat up on Marchman. He really would like to try to show him off. The fighting wins for Kreider. The physical contact of Chris Kreider and Marchman have gotten a lot of big heavy hitters tonight. But this was a tough one to be inbound where they're looking for. Exactly. This was very tough to try to like pull them up the goal here. And they really wanted like to try to show them off. They can't leave it out without them. And this can be a very tricky timing up there. We don't have a man to go open with the, with the pass. Or even a goal. We may not have any players to try to help them out. It could be blocked up and heavy and a hit. We may not have enough room here in the penalty box. Here's Goodrow back the other way. Scoops over and a long pass to, is out of reach. Gudis with the puck. Now it's over again to Marchman to Herbert Hoop. Herbert Hoop shot. Let's save! Barkov shot! Saved again, two in a row! What a deliberation here! Just Sturkin really got it all down! Wow, three in a row, just Sturkin! And he holds up with a big save! Across from the between from the game clock and face-up, only under 10.30 to go in the first period. Still no score. Jones with their reaching control out to Goffier. He fires the puck around the ice. Now Rehagi will take it over. Wow. And here's the number out offensive zone going to Verhagi. Off to Barkov. Barkov right around the man. Slap shot is deflected off on Shesterkin. Schneider up to Hedl. New York's back in offensive zone with air attack. Hedl. And it's trying to like put a little heavy physical on this contact says. Not you not my words here. Barkov back the airway to Gudas. Puck gets cleared out. Gudas went down. A number comes over for Bennett. Now Forsling will take over. Florida regains their group in the New York zone. And it's stopped over by Schneider. Schneider takes it over. Now in the offensive zone. 
He inches off the heel. Over to Gauthier. Shoots and scores! First goal of the Fur Eagles in game three. It's 1 0 New York Rangers. Easy set of goals out there. Gauthier was delivering the pressure around the goalie. He wasn't watching there. He had a perfect vision to go from the goal. That was a great stoppage. Lundell stopped again by Shostokin and now over to Zibanejad. We're under eight minutes to play. Here's Zibanejad. Shoots and deflect wide. Ekblad back the other way. He goes inside. Goots with the shot and it's stopped by the goaltender. Lindgren back the other way. Trace over to Lafayette. The Rangers are picking up steam. Lafayette, that one deflected off to the net, almost to the net. Close call. Could be off the target to go out of play. Ryan Hoare over to Lundell. Lundell trying to like pull a bad heavy heater. We go back out in front. Now it's over again. Edblad pushed back. Tip it, and it's Lundell Lindgren with a with a stick lift. Here's Panera and over to Zabanajad. Shot is up and around the goalie. Trying to do it again. Burk Gorofsky. Great save in front. Ekblad back the other way. Now go over to Duclar. Racing inside. Overdue. Shot. Deflect. Fox takes it over. Over to Lafanier. He goes right back to Zibanejad. Right around again. Oh, he almost missed it. And it was stopped by Bobrovsky. Great save call. He was almost lost it. It could have been a bad idea if he had that goal. Jonathan Herberdu has gotten some tape to tape feeds on this one. He now wants to fake some player here and try to go for open players in offense. And for Timmy Panarin. He has make it snappy ability and wants to help the teammates out here and try to dish it all, but he had gotten it before. We'll see which two players goes up with that heat to make their lead go in between the zones from the attack. And guys, it's all yours. Reed shot blocked up by Barofsky with a save. Only 4 17 remaining in the first period. Teams are running right now on a face off attack. The Rangers have will pick up the lead, 1-0. New York with the win. Bennett takes it over. Bennett in the attack. Fires the puck around the offensive board. Miller over to Truba. Now back to Rooney. Herbert with the takeaway. Battling a loose puck is Rooney. Nice zone entry for Rooney. Up with the shot. That's tipped away by Bobrovsky. And he all gets a puck to hold down with the with the puck. Now ready for a breath. And get back to work on offense. Another face off. Hedo wins the face off. Miller swings over to Truba. Up to Goffier. Now up to Hunt. Hunt back to uh, Truba. Truba took a big hit. Hunt around him. Oh man, that's a great save here by Bobrovsky with a textbook. Good to hear that one. A lot of rules, a lot of analogies. Teams are ready right now to get back to face off. Two under three minutes to play in the first period. The win for Bob Korbakov. Sorry, win for Barkov. Edo, Marchman takes it over. Here's Chariot off to Barkov. Barkov races towards the offensive zone. Over to Verhage. Shoots! And they get a goal! Tie the game! It's ones in the first period. You call that one here with the pass here as Barkov was delivering over to Verhage. He went quick. And with that shock and awe moment out there, he really got to bang it all out there and try to swoop their game around here to pick up their, their lead feed games of their run. Marchman and their teams were looking for Barkov to take the all alone man in the penalty box. They would have gotten it to take their way out of Tom to try to hit their deck. We'll see if uh, Rehagi can get a goal to try to pick up the lead 
or the other player will take the lead over it. Back to you guys. Trevor back to Kreider, and it's blocked up again on March Bay. As the penalty is over, we are approaching down to one minute to play in the first period. Trooper back to Zibanejad, now passing the neutral zone over to the offensive zone. Zibanejad and Chariot takes a puck with the loose. With the shot, Sisterkin with the save, and it's over again for another faceoff coming up. Clear teams ahead. 203 with time on attack and 144 for Florida attack. Another win for Eckblad. Duclair backhand shot deflected with the block. He got a great press shot there. What a stop in between. Kreider looking for a man open. That's it off by Weger. Across the line. Shoots stopped off by Shusterkin. The first period is in the books. It's a 1-1 game in between Florida and New York. We'll be back with the second period. On now to the second period. Glad you have us back. It's a 1-1 game in between the two. The battle of the first and second seed. Here's Barkov. Fox takes it over. Lindgren back the other way to Lafreniere. Now to Kreider. Kreider back to over to Lindgren. Now it's the bad the other way. Finds a shot. And it takes a bad look with an open feed. And it's stopped by the goaltender and Forsling with the block shot. He really got a heavy on that one here. Forsling was trying to like force it all over. He's putting up a lot of response out there. And great defense comes in by. Across is Kreider. Shoots and scores! Kreider! Got 21 goals and a first goal in game three. Now they're in the lead. You call that one here, Chris Kreider. An excellent relief bin out there. And Savannah Chad hit up a heavy assist here. Now their team is on the board. Hopefully we can get to see what the Kreider can definitely do here and try to pick him up. Another end scores! That's two in a row! Kreider has got two goals in the season. Now the postseason is picking up a 3-1 lead for New York. Now Markov wins it over and Ackblad will handle it. Here's Markov. Shoots and stopped by Sisterkin. Zubanejad back the other way. He takes the pass to Kreider, and it's going for three goals. It's deflected by Bobrovsky. He only got it all down a bit. He really would like to try to like save it all on his own. Marchman, shot blocked. And a goal was saved by Sisterkin. Fox delivery on his own. Back to Lafayette, over to Panarin. Ben Aaron inside the attack. He takes a shot, and Bobrovsky holds on with the puck. Only 712 2 to go here in the second period. And let's talk about New York Rangers. They got a great succeed here at picking up a heavy win here against the Pittsburgh Penguins, and now they already have won against the Carolina Hurricanes. What is their reaction to this game and how well they played? They've done a lot of like good, good heavy matchups in between. The first thing I have to call for here is was it was very tough for them to try to pull their breaths up, and because of that one here, the, the players have gotten some great uh, recontrol and connection here. I like seeing that the for both players want to uh, regroup, and they've got a great uh, switch up here for the head coach here with the biggest play of the night. I'm hoping for next season we can definitely bring the Rangers back to the Stanley Cup Finals and try to like not let the Bolts go back to again to hit for another win. While we always have talked the year before, as the Bolts are already like gotten beaten down, we're looking for a win here in Game 3 here back at the Malmali Arena. And they wanted to get back on the board. Well, how will they do now? Well, you got no, we got no other choice out there. It's a tough one to be at last. 
Teams are ready to get going here on ice, and the faceoff is about to come down. Here's the shot for Tippett. Montour shot, stopped again by Shesterkin. He got a good quick clean out there for Shesterkin. What a hustle. Now ready for another faceoff win for the attack. The Rangers have 3-1 lead over the Panthers score, only 15-08. 20 saves for Shesterkin. He put up a great seed, a succeed of his career. Both of the teams, I mean, they're, they're really tough for the China, if you can call that one here. Most timing is just all it takes. Florida back the offensive zone. He bitched off to Lundell. It's taken away by Kreider with the loose ball. Zibanejad, one on one. Knocked out. Zibanejad tries again. Shoots wide. And it went off the target. Zibanejad over to Miller. Shot is blocked by Lundell. Great stop. Lundell shot. Turns the other way with the pat save by Shesterkin. Reinhardt over again to tip it. Takes a shot again. And no luck range here for Pampers 3 2. You tell that one. They really got tricky shots. They can't let the man go with a loss advantage out there. They need somebody else to try to like regain their group. Lundell back the airway. Pulls it over to Reinhardt, and he get a goal. That's 26 goals for the season, and now he has picked up 13-3-2. Both teams down, ready for the faceoff. The Panthers are coming back to the, take their win and go with the lead or tie the game. Mm, this tough one really does stop by. It is true. You honestly gotta call that one here. I top them in this game. Here's Marchman. In the wing. Up to Barkov. And they get a goal and they tie it up. You call that one here, Barkov. The captain has gotten the first goal here in game three. After staying with a look, it was only the other players that got a goal. Nobody had gotten the, uh, got the goals for the captain, but now he has gotten one here for Florida. Barkov went down. Zibanejad back the other way. New York on the attack. Kreider around him with the shot. It's stopped by Bobrovsky. Both teams are ready for a face-off on their way. Shesterkin and Bobrovsky got a hole heavy on this matchup. It's clear to see why. Their coast was a tough battle in between Metropolitan and the Atlantic Division. They got it in between them. I have to tell you this one here. This was a very uh, tough uh, game inbound. And nothing to worry about that one here. It really does stop me. Improving that one here, you know, tough one is really going to be a, a good range. In between by New York and Florida Pampers own ability. We have it all down here what they have. They're all chanting, let's go Rangers. And the shot denies him. Show back to Lindgren. Over again is Kreitner and Panarin back the airway. He flings over to Strom. Shot was too early to release. Montour and Strom battling for the loose puck. Barkov has the puck. Passing the neutral zone to offensive zone. Here's a shot. A great save textbook here off the circuit. And Barkov went down as Lindgren takes it over. Duclair trying to hold on. Fox back the airway over to Goodrow. Strom back the airway. Taking it inside, Strom. It's stopped again by Marbovsky. Kreider with the puck. Go around him. Oh, he went, to, he went down and blocked up by Marbovsky. He wasn't sure what he was going to be going because of that. He was he was almost got tripped over. Strom finds Kreider. New York back to offensive attack with the shot. He scores. It's four three. Now it's three goals for Kreider. 
Chris Kreider, another goal for this one. He could totally feel like he was never seen that one coming. But with all that praise for him for Kreider, he's delivering games on his own. Now he would like to take his team onto his next level to try to pick up a hustle and go back where they came from. Let's see if Kreider can take another two goals and have five here for game three if he can try to hold on. Back to you guys. Zibanejad, back the other way, Bobrovsky with a save. Only 7.18 left to play in the second period. It's now a 4-3 lead, New York. And here, let's have a quick hustle here on the Florida Panthers. They, last time, they have won against the Washington Capitals here for the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And then the second round, they have already gotten taking a, a win to take out the Maple Leafs. How does it really, really turn out to be a, a good team there, Test 2? Well, I gotta say, gotta say because of but because Panthers are really good at that point. Won two goals already, and then won one uh, two two games this uh, at this home game. And now for one, they are on the board here. They got a heavy hitter here in between the two. Now for the Capitals, they're in, and they have already are on the board to take it all they have. And for the fourth game, while <laughs> one on one has to be with the game four Panthers win. They try to regain the group and go back to where they came from. And for game five, this was the end of it at all down, as Washington was eliminated in the first round. Now they're looking for a team to go right back into offense to try to hit their deck on board. I'll have more discussion here for this one here later. We broke down the five minutes passing the offensive zone. It's a stop on to Sturkin. Drop here over to Hunt. New York back to offensive zone. He takes it over to Hedo. And he gets his goal. He takes it in. That's a goal for Hedo. And it's now the extended lead. 5-3. You call that one here. Hedo. What a heat making. He really would like to be a rookie of the year. He likes to go big and square. Rangers a 5-3 lead. And with the net out of play, let's have your discussion with the look of Florida and Maple Toronto Maple Leafs. Their team is really like trying to pick up their hustle here. I've always had to tell you this one here, that Florida Panthers have already gotten some great wins here in the first two games. And with, along with the turnoff match, game three win was Panthers. And now for game four, it looks like the Toronto Maple Leafs are on the board. They really wanted to win so badly, and they uh, don't want to be heated up here all four games with a losing streak. It's definitely different to tell, but it can be very tricky to try to hold on to the rest of them. I'm pretty sure that the, that the team's got it all down in control. We'll see how well they do. And in game five, they have it all. Shot blocked. Hoodbro takes it back. Both players comes in for the Russell. Bobrovsky with the save and only 3.04 to go. They're going to try to pick up another face-off attack. Both teams are ready to take the face-off. Sean wins it. Goodrow with the puck. Saved off by Bobrovsky. Under three minutes. This one's turning out to be a heavy hitting clean look here for the eight saves for Bobrovsky. He's really like trying to like keep it all on the board. Pressure yourself. Pace yourself. Don't be like they're too hard if you wanted to keep it going. Fox goes down as Marchman takes over. Varegi back the other way. Good to hate a pressure look at that play drive. Strong into the offensive zone. With the crack, Hidoo shot scores! Makes it snappy! They extend themselves 6-3! You call that one here. Panarin was, was like, a, wow, how well do you do have to go for? And thanks for Strom, their team's like on the roll. Two minutes to play in the second period. Good road, tries Strom again. Chuck blocked on Marchman. Florida in the zone. Brady with the shot. 
Barkov shot. That takes a goal. It's two goals in a row in game three. Alexander Barkov was like not giving up here yet. The team really wanted to try to like heat the making and try to battle it that they can. With that one, Alexander Barkov was putting it around Shesterkin to make it tricky for him to try to trick him. But it really never caught on that much that it does happen most plays at the same time. We'll see what Barkov does because now he has two goals. Guys, only one minute left to play in the second period and Benera in shot is saved off again. Greggy. Benera takes the puck. He's going to go for it. Oh, a making save by Bobrovsky. How did he hold on to that? He held it quickly, grabbing timing like he did. He was like, oh, well, all of a sudden, he really likes to like try to like keep it going. says, can't lose the puck here. Now the says saving of the faceoff comes in for Florida. Over there, over to Bennett. Bennett with the shot. It's tipped wide. Kreider with the puck. Battle on the board. Miller takes it over. Racing to neutral zone offense. Time for the buzz beater. And it was saved off by Bobrovsky. That ends the second period. And one period to go. Tough teams in the battle of Metropolitan Atlantic. We got the next one coming for the third period. Stick with us after this. Me and Testube along with Lightbulb, it's time to rally up the third period. And we have liftoff. It's about that time. Now we are back here at the Garden. Glad that you could join us here. It's time to finish the game. So far, the score has already been taken down. Six goals here for the New York Rangers and four goals for the Florida Panthers. Could you tell me a little bit more who had the best uh, player of this game? He really got it all down. Some of the players, I have to call for that one in mind. It was Chris Kreider. He pushed out three goals this game. I don't know what to tell you this one, but <laughs> it was a hard one to try to think it ahead. It's tough one. In between those two, can be a difficult range in between. Face off win for Fox. Now he swings over to Lafreniere. The Rangers are back in offensive zone. Takes a shot. That's saved off by Dorowski. Over the other hand is Marchman. In the attacking zone, middle Florida zone. Barkov saved made by Shesterkin. Great work and they out of control. Puck has almost went loose. Lots of time left to play on ice time. The score is 6-4. to four. They're dominating the run to try to pick up a lead over Florida. Rangers keeps back to work on offense. Savannah goes right to Lafayette. New York's in a battling motion in the attack mode in the zone. The pass is broken up. Radio back to Porcelain. Florida's regained control back in offensive zone. Here's Barkov. Shot saved by Sisterkin. Have a great save here, and here's Fox. He goes right to Lafayette, straight to Zibanejad. Around the hand, and stopped by the goaltender. Lafayette up at the board. Goes back to Kreider, and a puck is out of play. That went right to the netting. Those two teams are definitely the toughest bound inbounding that they are looking for. So far, the teams are, are, have already been playing here so long and between the regular seasons and postseasons for the New York Rangers. Tough one though we could be inbound out there. I'm telling you, they're really like tough for to try to keep the range inbound to make it a count off attack to try to work it around through. I'm pretty sure that the players are definitely got to hydrated up and ready to take the attack. Now with shots at 40 and 38, they've got a lot of shots on goals, a lot of defending, great uh, great saves from the goaltender. Now here's another one, the pass, and saved by Shesterkin.
We still got a lot of uh, lot of some time left here. New York Rangers up by two. Now it's Strom with the face-off win. In the attack, Fox fires the puck around the board. It's Forsling with the puck. Now dish off to Ekblad. Right to Herberdu. Herberdu is up at the attack. Pass is broken in and shot went whipped wide. Saved off by Shesterkin. Herberdu up by Strom with a takeaway. Now it's back to Fox. Fox regains group from Lindgren. Back to Goodrow. Goodrow battling along the board. It's taken away by Ekblad. Duke shot. Stopped again by the defender. And Aaron all alone. Shoots one. Stopped by Forsling. Forsling got a good cover on that one. He was like trying to block it away quick. Batted around him. That's another save off by Sturkin. Greggy shot. Another great save. He stops the puck. And what a great job he is keeping his eyes in the puck here as long as he can go for. Tough to go with that one. I like that call because this one was the toughest save inbound. Fox delivers up to Gavier. New York in passing neutral zone back to Hunt. He takes one. Slough saved by Bobrovsky. And I will hold the puck here for just 14 10 to go in the third period. And with the call on that one, we have light bulb. Adam Fox has gotten some great uh, technology skills. This one is a tape to tape skills. And he has it all down on his board. He can find the open teammates with a long pass, and sometimes the little long pass can, can try to keep it upward and have it on the run to keep it from the range. We'll see if Adam Fox can go with the tape to tape zone from the assist and get a goal. Back to you guys. Hunt on the wing. Off the heel, and he went too close to the goaltender. That saved up again. Off here to Hedo. Hedo works her way around. Goffier shoots. He scores! That's two in a row, and they have extended their lead. 7 4. Keeping the Rangers alive, the Rangers town is going wild here in game three. It's a 7-4 lead, as right now they still got more time to think about. They got something else going on. What a stop here for Gauthier. He's reaching out his own personal ability. And Shesterkin will hold on to the puck for now, as this one is coming down by play with 12 40, 35 to go. In between the two zones, those tough teams are bound to be in their matches right from face to face. Miller has the puck with the face off. Now it's Kreider in the wing. Gains inside the center. The puck is tipped away out of the zone. Marchman battling along. Truba trying to get it. Eggblad back to Burkhoff. Moves across the Marchman. And he takes a shot! Didn't have the right call for that one as it was deflected towards the goaltender to left the inbound. Kreider back the airway. That holds up by Bobrovsky. We got a whistle here to give it a catch to Breps in. It's interesting right now because if you don't have enough energy, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a tired uh, tired players to go on ice. Bennett wins the faceoff. Florida's in control. Back to Truba with the puck drop with a steal. Truba off to Lafreniere. Off to Kreider. He moves inside. Backhand pass by Zabanajab. Backhand shot. Doesn't work for him. You have to get a little bit more aggressive to try to keep up the run. Exactly true. And with the call of Zabanajab, we have here that light bulb. Zibanejad clear off the deck from here. It's most of all his um, impression to take the magnetic on his run. When he hits the blade from the, uh, the puck, he can try to hold with the magnetic and then try to try to hit the puck with the blade and the kick. 
and then keep it right here in front. Or, if he was way off the target, he could try to help the, the blade to try to pick up the stick and then go with the kick and put it in the net to try to keep up this run. We'll see if, uh, if he has a magnetic choice to try to slow it down. Awesome save by Shesterkin. And that will clear things up here with under 10 minutes remaining in the third period. We played half on the minutes here on the board. And that's already just coming down in the wire with under 10 minutes to go. Chariot shot! Wow! Beat a shot! And he gets a goal of the season of a postseason. It turns out, one quick timer. Ben Chariot was delivering things off. He was quite quick ahead. Panthers are looking back for another score as this comes down to 7-5 in the third period. Here's Marchman back the other way. Here's Barkov, shot and stopped by Shesterkin. Miller up to Kreider. Rangers in the pressure. Pressure up Lafayette. Scores! That's a slow 13 goals every season. And now they are getting away with it. You call that one Alexis Lafayette. He was a big time stopper. Kreider has his assist here along with Keandre Miller. Their team is picking up steam. They always do. They're trying to beat the number one team out of them. They really wanted to try to save their day. Here's a Verge up at the shot. It's Miller with the steal. Lavanier takes it back the airway. He is going to try to hit the go for it. Around the boards. Puck loose. Now he still has it back. An error back there, release been Saved again by Dorofsky. Teams are ready right now in the uh, face off movement. The score is 8-5 as Rangers are up by 3. Barkov wins the faceoff. Marchman slides over to Verhage. The Panthers regain their group on offense on his own. Back pass. Marchman stopped again. Truba back there his own other way gets the puck and he wants to go for his run. He's trying hard. He wants to do it again. Strong back the other way. He swings off to Panarin. Up to Goodrow. And it's shot blocked. Chariot moves the other way. Only has two goals for the postseason in the game three. Marchman takes it over. And Verhage with the with the good pass. Controls the puck in the offensive zone. Shot is up and denied by the goaltender. Truba back the other way. Off to Panarin. And Aaron right to the board. And a shot stays out of focus. Bob Rowski will get a hold of the puck. We are under six minutes to play in the third. Lots of time left here for Panarin. And he was trying to get a goal. He made it snappy all of his relief. But he was picking up his own time. And with all the other players, have gotten it in their hands. They do always. Puck checked away by Truba. Edo trying to hold out with him. Do clear off on him. Alright, takes the puck away. Swings off to Goffier. Rangers going for two on two. Hermano takes the puck away. Now it's back to Duclair. Bo o to Montour. Moves it quickly over to Bennett. Save me. Hermano. Got the airway. Pass broken up by Keandre Miller. Good rejection out there. The pass is almost too wide. Almost better they have a big relief in here if he wants to try to stop them and slow it down. Oh, Hunt just couldn't get it there. And he just made a great save by Barovsky. It looks like the team is picking up a lot of pressure. They do always. With the true thing on the release bit. Artemi Panarin has released himself with the make it snappy zone ability. He's relieving on his own teams that wants to try to make it look quick and easy to go with the follow. Herbadu has receiving of a tape-to-tape -tape skills. He can try to help the team out here when he tries to look for the open pass 
and look for the open teammate. They try to give him up here for the longer pass, the longer distance, and the only only time and difference will tell. We'll see what two had at the best here in game three and pick up the run. Guys, back to you. Markov wins again. Verhege back the other way. Here's Marchman. Up into the neutral zone, the offensive zone. Fox takes a poke check. Lafayette go back the air away. In the attack is Lafayette. Shoots one. That's not going to help him. But the pass is broken up. Marchman back the air away. Take a big hit on a slot. He's really picking up a lot of moment here. Wow. Kreider, hold on to the puck up to Zibanejad. Oh, he just went down with the too much. He's too close to the man. He caught him down. Big sight. Bite the dust. Barkov, right to the board, around him, and it's stopped by Lindgren. Battling along the board, Fox takes it over. New York in pressure. Strong back the other way. Shoots one. That's stopped by again by the goaltender. He got a quick relief in out there. What a hustle. We come down to the last minute of the play in the third period in the finals of the conference of Eastern Conference. Over to Tippett. Inside now. Shoots and stopped again by Shesterkin. On the roll again. Shesterkin will hold on to the puck. And we'll hold things up here for just 43.8 seconds in the third period. Rangers are our best team in the team that they played here before. After a regular season devastation, it looks like they got to a lot of franchise players that want to play hard. They do. They always do. And tough to be a mouth. I love to hear that one. A great player to be my favorite. I love, um... I love Adam Fox more. What do you think? Well, uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, Panarin because Panarin has got a great make it snappy zone. Ah, great call. Top three of the caps of the stars are looking great. And her Timmy Panarin, with only the they make it snappy ability of their zones, he's got some great skills to try to keep things on. He wants to make it quick and easy. We'll see if a Panarin can go for a next game here in game four to give it all. Finals. You telling that one there, Keandre Miller was delivering a pressure. He wants to end this game? Well, <laughs> there you go. That's what he really wants. Here's that one. Ten seconds to play in the third. Lundell facing the attack. Over again, deflect wide. And with the final horn of the buzz, it's the Rangers win. They are a believable team to hit their party and go right to game four. They now lead the series 2-1. What an excellent game here on this one, Test Tube. I know. Favorites always come by, and when you never know it, you might love them too. Well, along with me, Son of Beast, of Test Tube, and along with Lightbulb, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs of the Eastern Conference Finals. Next game will be here again once more in game four, and then we will hike you back to Calgary of Avs and the Flames. So that wraps it up here, folks. I will close things off here for the three star players of the game. An excellent matchup performance run was a huge success. 9 5 is your final score. Now let's head you over to test two. You take it away, dear fellow. I will do. Here we go. Number three, we have here is Julian Gauthier. Two goals and one assist. He really didn't want to like waste his time, but it looks like he did have it all, and he got it in the net. Now there is the second star for Florida is Alexander Barkov. Two goals, two assists, and one hit. Only put up a puck on a string here, and made a great captain with the goal. And for number one with the star, Chris Kreider. Three goals, one assist, and one hit. Awesome to be the only man himself, and wants to put it back where Lafayette can definitely do it for Kreider. 
and it's all yours. Thank you very much, Joe Test 2. And we'll see you again here for the next part of the game in between the finals of the NBA and the conference finals in between with the other commentators. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL 22 of the Stanley Cup playoffs of Eastern Conference Finals. Tune in for more and we will be heading back to the NBA Finals to get ready for Game 3 and 4. We'll see how this one comes in. If the chance for Miami Heat to tie the series or the Warriors extends their lead. So with that one, thank you so much for joining with us. I'll see you all again next time. Have a wonderful night in the Rangers town of New York and the sunshine of Sunrise, Florida of Florida Pampers. Get on safe, fellas.